guys. Um, not sure what all I did yesterday video wise, but I've been cleaning up the interior. Um, the driver's side's in significantly worse shape, but because I still have the dash and door panels in, um, I'm going to actually tarp off uh, the door panels and the dash um, so that if I use a wire brush wheel and get a little bit more aggressive with it, I don't uh, ruin the interior with uh, rust dust. So we're going to uh, go ahead and, and tape some of this stuff off, uh, make sure that it doesn't uh, get off. So obviously uh, here we're just sanding all the rust down. Um, I had the Evapro Rust gel that I used um, originally realized that uh, honestly the wire brush wheel just does a better job. Um, in some cases where the wire brush wheel left a little bit of residue or couldn't get into crevices, I then used um, the uh, Evapro Rust um, as well. So that was, um, you know, the wire brush wheel, especially here, you can see it just strips it, it down to bare metal um, and make sure that all the rust is gone. A lot of this was, uh, again, pretty light surface rust. Um, had a little bit more in the front than I thought. Uh, the passenger side was pretty good, um, but um, only wrapped the uh, plastic wrap that you see that I, I covered the dash up. Um, a couple of times I uh, don't have a lot of filming. I cut a lot of that out because the plastic got in the way of the camera, but uh, wrapped the uh, plastic into the wire brush a, a couple of times, which is uh, always fun to uh, try to get it loose. But... Um, got all the way up uh, around the pedals. Um, looked like you know somebody got in with uh, wet feet or, or snow on their feet, and uh, you know obviously it, it dripped down, uh, probably along with salt, and then uh, rusted some stuff out. So um, you know sanded all of that as as much as we could. Right. So we've got our. Um, I bought uh, taper drill bits. So about taper drill bits, um, as well as the ginormous one, um, probably the uh, largest one that I've ever seen, but I'm sure they make bigger ones. Um, I've just always seen the smaller ones. So I'm um, going to drill out uh, these holes that uh, were where the uh, harness bar and um, the roll cage were installed. Um, drill those out, uh, clean them up a little bit. And I believe it's going to be, uh, I'll remeasure, but I believe it's basically a 59 and like a 27 millimeter cap um, you over drill the hole just slightly I think but uh, we'll be somewhere in that range and so you can actually see um, this is our size size cap and uh, besides the fact that we're gonna have to probably drill that uh, out a little bit I'm not really sure that 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 hole is uh, gonna fit that side I, I thought I was gonna use two of these um, and one big one, but as it turns out, I may, uh, may drill it larger than that. So basically confirmed, it's um, the cap sizes are um, 24 and 49, which is a 25 hole and a 50 hole, and the rest is seam sealer. And then these are um, potentially going to be 12, um, which will be good because that's the biggest size on there. Um, so I'm actually gonna start I think with this uh, 22 um, on these uh, larger holes and obviously it's not going to get me very far at all. In fact, it won't get me anywhere either one of those. And so um, we're going to take it up to the um, 25 and see, uh, see what that gets us. So again, use the uh, taper bits to uh, straighten out and kind of clean up the uh, holes where the harness was uh, tied down. Um, there were two larger uh, holes. These had some um, had rusted out actually. Is why they're so big. They they were originally very small and um, they had these big steel washers on them, and so they rusted out bigger holes. Um, and so those needed to be cleaned up and used the uh, factory uh, floor pan plugs that you see there. Those are actually Honda and you can see them in the floor pan. And then for the uh, where the roll cage, the smaller hole there that wasn't rusted out and where the roll cage was bolted up um, in the corners of uh, the rear and in the uh, arches, the rear wheel arches, I drilled those out to uh, like 12 millimeters and used plastic plugs uh, that were factory plugs as well. Hey guys, so uh, midterm update on Integra Type R 98111. 
Um, you'll see that I've got the, uh, the interior here um, all taped off. So I've been working on the rust on the chassis where the tie down bar, I uh, drilled the holes earlier. I've got plugs for those to, uh, to patch them. Um, they're actually outside painting. Um, removed all the rust from the floor pan and uh, from where the pedals, uh, obviously where their feet got salt and, and uh, water and stuff rusted. I'm going to take that other plug there out. Um, passenger side was clean except for a little bit in the very uh, footwell there. Um, did a little bit of, of light rust removal there. Um, just a touch there by the gas tank and then obviously the hatch is pretty clean now. Um, so everything's shaping up to uh, look really well. And I've got the uh, the dash, the headliner, and the other door. Um, both doors all wrapped off so that I can uh, paint once I vacuumed and cleaned it out, um, got my plugs installed, etc. So, all right, guys. So we've got um, everything prepped. I used this um, Easton pre pre painting prep um, paint prep before I painted or primed anything. So I've got everything uh, masked off as well. Um, I, I did not do the wiring harnesses. I suspect that I'll be doing more spot and touch up. So I think I'll be able to control the paint within that. And so we're gonna get started. Don't know if I'll have a lot of footage of it. Um, I'm not gonna put the uh, camera in with the paint. So I'll probably uh, just post it outside somewhere. Um, so probably won't get much footage of it. And so here is um, where, again, I um, started primering and painting uh, the interior, um, kind of using the box to block off things that I didn't want to get paint on. Um, definitely got more paint uh, over spray um, than I thought, uh, but I did have everything plastic wrapped except for a few of the harness uh, harnesses there. Um, turned out really great. Um, I've got some pictures at the end of this uh, for you to take a look at, but uh, you know, sprayed everything, put the caps in, and then uh, sprayed those. I, I seam sealed the caps. Still have a little bit of cleanup work on the underside of the car, but uh, seam sealed everything uh, with OEM Honda seam sealer by SCM or SSEM or something like that. Um, here are the caps. I painted the caps because they uh, weren't painted. That's the before. That's kind of during sanding. Um, and then here's the after shot with the uh, caps put in. I did seam seal the, uh, the little black plastic caps and then that's uh, just kind of before and after so that you can see the difference. Hey guys, hope you enjoy watching the restoration of the Rusty Barnacle, uh, Integra Type R 98111. Um, please subscribe and uh, keep looking for updates. Thanks.